So DNA versus RNA sounds like some sort of weird um, heavyweight matchup. It's not. Uh, you need to know the basic structure because both of them, the monomer form, so the single unit subunit form of them, is called a nucleotide. And you need to know the basic shape of a nucleotide. All right. And for both of them, it's the same. So you have, there are three parts to it. Um, the first, so you have this, then you have, so your cartoon that you are at, that if you are asked to draw it often looks like this. All right. Now, what are those things? So you have a sugar, a phosphate group. Uh, oh, sorry. This is, so this is, find some different colors. All right. So this is the sugar. All right. This is the phosphate group. And this is the nitrogenous base. So when we talk about why do plants need nitrates or why do we humans need nitrates or why do we um, nitrogen, this is it. This is one of the big reasons is that if you want to make more DNA, you need to have nitrogen so that you can make more of these bases. Now, there are four different possibilities for the bases, okay? Uh, and then the sugar, we'll talk about it in a second. So the phosphate is connected to the sugar, and that's, that's it. That's all you need to know. Sugar, phosphate, nitrogen, it's base. All right, but the sugar in DNA, so if you know what DNA stands for, it stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And so in DNA, the sugar is a deoxy ribose, which means it's missing deoxy, one less oxygen, right? And in RNA, RNA just stands for ribonucleic acid. So the sugar in, in RNA is called a ribose sugar. They're both five uh, member rings, all right? And the only difference is the RNA has an oxygen that the DNA doesn't. It's actually down here. It's a little OH, but I don't think you need to know that detail. Nitrogenous bases in DNA, you have four. You have adenine, thymine, cytosine, oops, and guanine. Okay, and I've put them in their pairs. Adenine always goes with thymine, cytosine always goes with guanine. In RNA, as you may remember, there's one of them missing, right? It doesn't have no, it doesn't have a thymine. Instead, it has a uracil. All right, so there's no thymine. Instead, it has something called a uracil. Now, you can abbreviate these with the letters if you want. All right, so you have A, T, C, and G. But every once in a while, they do require you. Usually, the letters are good enough, but every once in a while, they do require you to uh, know what those stand for. Uracil is a U, right? So that's one difference, uh, or two differences, sorry. is the, They have different sugars, and then they also have, uh, there's one nitrogenous base that's found in RNA that's not found in DNA. Um, and then the other difference is that RNA is always single-stranded. So the mRNA that's created uh, and the tRNA as well that comes in and carries the amino acid if you watched my, my other video on uh, translation. So RNA is always single-stranded and DNA is always double-stranded. So there are two, that double helix, right, of the, I can't draw it very well, but the idea of this, right, though that's two strands of DNA that are being connected. So so those are your, the summary of your differences between um, RNA and DNA. You may be asked to compare and contrast them, right? So they both have nucleotides, but the sugar is different and the, the base, can be, base can be different. And then overall for their, when we're talking about their larger structure, their polymer form, then RNA is always single-stranded and DNA is double-stranded.